Today, we've got some exciting news about Samsung's highly anticipated One UI 7.0 update. The wait seems to be finally coming to an end, and if you're a Galaxy S24 series owner, you'll want to pay close attention. Let's dive into all the details, including where the beta program has been spotted, what devices might be eligible, and when you can expect to get your hands on it. Earlier this week, eagle-eyed developers spotted what appears to be the first public beta firmware for One UI 7.0 on Samsung servers. This update is based on Android 15 and is expected to bring a host of new features and improvements to Galaxy devices. The firmware was initially discovered for Galaxy S24 Ultra models in India and Europe, but now, Reports indicate it's showing up on Samsung servers in almost every market where beta programs are typically launched. That's right. Six out of seven eligible countries have been confirmed. Here's the current list of countries set to receive the One UI 7.0 beta. United States, United Kingdom, Germany, Poland, India, South Korea. The one notable exception? China. But don't worry. If history is anything to go by, it's only a matter of time before the beta program launches there too. Since the early days of One UI, these seven markets have always been the testing grounds for Samsung's beta programs. So, it's safe to assume that this rollout will follow a similar pattern. If you're in one of these eligible countries, don't expect the beta to launch everywhere at the same time. Samsung has a phased rollout strategy. Typically, the first phase begins in markets like Germany, South Korea, and the United States. These countries usually get the beta before anyone else, often by a few weeks. After that, the second phase kicks in, expanding to the remaining eligible regions. While this staggered approach has been Samsung's standard practice, many fans are hoping for a faster rollout this year, especially given how long we've been waiting for the One UI 7.0 beta program to start. So far, the beta program has been confirmed for the Galaxy S24, Galaxy S24 Plus, and Galaxy S24 Ultra. But that's just the beginning. Samsung is known to expand beta availability once the second phase of the program starts. This means more devices could join the party soon. Which devices are we talking about? Here's what we expect. Every flagship Galaxy phone launched in 2023 and 2024. This could include models like the Galaxy S23 series, Galaxy Z Fold 5, and Galaxy Z Flip 5. If your device is eligible, you'll need to sign up through the Samsung Members app. From there, you'll find the option to enroll in the beta program once it's officially open in your region. Now, you might be wondering, why all the hype? Well, One UI 7.0 is Samsung's next big step in refining its Android experience. From updated animations and design tweaks to enhanced multitasking and better device optimization, this update is expected to deliver significant improvements. Plus, being part of the beta means you get to try out all the features before anyone else. But it's not just about new features. Participating in the beta also gives users a chance to provide valuable feedback, helping Samsung iron out bugs and ensure a smoother global release. If you're ready to be among the first to experience One UI 7.0, here's what you need to do. 1. Download the Samsung Members app. If you don't already have it, download it from the Galaxy Store or Google Play Store. 2. Sign up for the beta. Once the program launches, look for a banner or notification in the app to enroll. 3. Install the update. After enrolling, you'll receive the beta firmware as an over-the-air update. It's that simple. What are you most looking forward to in One UI 7.0? Let us know in the comments below. And as always, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for the latest updates on Samsung, Android, and more. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one. The smartphone industry is constantly evolving with each new year bringing us flagship devices that push the boundaries of technology and design. In this video, we'll be taking a close look at the two biggest names in the smartphone world right now, Apple's iPhone 16 Pro Max and Samsung's Galaxy S24 Ultra. Both phones are powerhouses in their own right, but how do they stack up against each other? Let's dive into the battle of the bigs. Design and size, as expected, Apple's iPhone 16 Pro Max doesn't deviate much from its predecessor when it comes to design. The rectangular shape, soft corners, flat sides, and dynamic island pill-shaped cutout remain. This year, however, the screen has grown from 6.7 inches to a massive 6.9 inches, making it the largest display ever on an iPhone. Its bezels are even thinner, but the overall dimensions have changed slightly, 
measuring 163 millimeters by 77.6 millimeters. In comparison, the Galaxy S24 Ultra is slightly smaller at 162.3 millimeters in height, but a bit wider at 79 millimeters, making it easier to handle for users who love to use the S Pen for sketching or taking notes. Speaking of the S Pen, Samsung once again offers the stylus nestled into the bottom of the Galaxy S24 Ultra. It's a feature that remains unique to Samsung in the flagship market and one that many users either love or it more completely. The precision of the S Pen developed in partnership with Wacom is something to be admired, making it a fantastic tool for creative tasks. Apple, on the other hand, introduces some new tricks with its buttons. The Action Button, which debuted in the iPhone 15 Pro series returns, offering customizable functions for launching apps or activating Siri shortcuts. But the real star of the show is the new Camera Control Button. This physical key, equipped with a capacitive surface, allows users to control the camera with a swipe, much like a traditional camera shutter button, enhancing the photography experience. Both phones come in sleek color options. The iPhone 16 Pro Max offers titanium finishes in white, black, natural, and the new desert titanium. Meanwhile, Samsung gives users a broader selection with titanium violet, yellow, black, and gray, and three exclusive colors if you order directly from Samsung's website. Display differences. When it comes to display, both phones boast impressive technology. The iPhone 16 Pro Max features a 6.9-inch OLED panel with a 120Hz refresh rate and an always-on display that can drop its refresh rate to just 1Hz, keeping your wallpaper or photos visible even when the phone is asleep. Samsung's Galaxy S24 Ultra comes equipped with its signature AMOLED screen, also featuring a 120Hz refresh rate and an always-on display. However, Samsung has a slight edge here with its anti-reflective coating, which makes the screen much easier to see outdoors. In contrast, the iPhone struggles with reflections in bright sunlight despite its high brightness. Color accuracy is another area where the two phones differ slightly. The iPhone's display leans towards a yellowish hue, while the Galaxy has a bit of a teal tint. But with both phones offering blue light filters and adaptive color calibration, these differences are minimal in day-to-day -day use. One new feature for the iPhone 16 Pro Max is its ability to drop to an incredibly low one-nit brightness level, making it easier on the eyes in dark environments. Samsung's display already hovers around this level, so both phones are excellent for nighttime use, performance, and software. Under the hood, the iPhone 16 Pro Max is powered by Apple's latest 18 Pro chip, built on a second-gen 3 nanometer process by TSMC. This cutting-edge chip brings significant improvements in performance and efficiency, particularly when it comes to handling heavy tasks like gaming and AI-driven processes. Apple has also focused on better heat dissipation, addressing the overheating issues that plagued the A17 Pro chip. The Galaxy S24 Ultra, on the other hand, is powered by the Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Gen 3, specifically tuned for Samsung devices. While both chips are incredibly powerful, benchmarks show that Apple's A18 Pro takes the lead in CPU performance, However, in 3D graphics tests, the Galaxy S24 Ultra isn't far behind, offering stellar gaming performance. Both Apple and Samsung are pushing into the realm of AI, with dedicated NPU cores to handle AI tasks. The iPhone 16 Pro Max comes with Apple Intelligence, which will roll out new features gradually, while the Galaxy S24 Ultra already boasts AI-powered features like live translation, generative image editing, and transcript summaries. As for software, the iPhone runs iOS, which has seen some welcome changes this year, bringing it closer to the flexibility of Android. You can now place app icons anywhere on the home screen and even customize their colors. But if customization is what you're after, Samsung's One UI still reigns supreme with features like split-screen multitasking, themes, and more. Samsung has also stepped up its software update game, promising seven years of updates for the Galaxy S24 Ultra compared to Apple's five-year commitment for the iPhone. Camera capabilities. Apple has made some significant upgrades to the cameras on the iPhone 16 Pro Max, particularly the ultra-wide camera, which now features a 48 megapixel sensor. The main camera remains at 48 megapixel, and the 5X telephoto camera comes with a 12 megapixel sensor. A new lens coating helps reduce the lens flare issue that has been prevalent in recent iPhone models, especially during night shots. Samsung, as always, is pushing the envelope with its camera hardware. The Galaxy S24 Ultra boasts a hopping 200 megapixel main camera alongside a 12 megapixel ultra wide, a 10 megapixel 3x telephoto, and a 50 megapixel 5x zoom camera. While the megapixel count might seem impressive, the real magic happens in post processing. 
Both phones have excellent cameras, but Samsung has a slight edge in zoom performance, while the iPhone tends to oversharpen fine details like leaves or grass. In low light conditions, both phones perform admirably, but the iPhone's new lens coating helps reduce the flare and artifacts that can appear in night photos. Samsung, on the other hand, continues to struggle slightly with oversaturated greens in its images, but this is only noticeable when directly comparing photos side by side, battery and charging. When it comes to battery life, both phones pack a punch. The iPhone 16 Pro Max has a 4,685 mAh battery, while the Galaxy S24 Ultra comes with a slightly larger 5,000 mAh battery. However, Samsung takes the lead in charging speeds, offering 45 watt wired charging compared to the iPhone's 20 watt. For wireless charging, Apple's MagSafe offers 25 watt, while Samsung's wireless charging maxes out at 15 watt. Conclusion. So, which phone is the better choice? It's a tough call. The iPhone 16 Pro Max impresses with its sleek design, powerful A18 Pro chip, and improved cameras, while the Galaxy S24 Ultra excels with its S Pen, higher megapixel count, and faster charging speeds. Ultimately, it comes down to personal preference and whether you're more entrenched in Apple's ecosystem or Samsung's Android world. Either way, you're getting a top-tier smartphone that won't disappoint. What do you think about it? Let us know your thoughts in the comments. Until then, take care, goodbye.